so today also we are going to continue with this demo level that we are working on so initially we have two enemies here so once I kill those two enemies and once I kill those two enemies and go past this forward area multiple enemies will be coming from multiple directions so see now they are coming from over there and over there so so that's what I'm going to work on today so making it feel like player is getting ambushed by the enemies multiple enemies that are staying hidden behind these places and also from here to give it the feeling of that we are in like a real level right so now we have set up sub levels and they are loaded as the player progress through the level so here we go to Only after I proceed through here, the next set of enemies are loaded. So that's what we worked on last time. And we have one small problem here because we were uh, actively engaging with these enemies. Then when I go here, uh, seeing these guys just roaming around freely without uh, showing any kind of a war mode like they like like they don't know whatever happens so that's not a that's a bit unrealistic so we need a way to like manually force them to engage with the player so for that I think think it would be better if we implement some kind of a noise that attract these enemies into this area and it would be better to do that in this level loading trigger itself so how can we do that when we do stuff like throwing rocks we have a mechanism to make these enemies hear those noises so let me rock over yeah here here you can see this make noise so we can use this same function and this will cause the enemies to react or come to this area where the player is to check out what's happening so um, I'll add a function maybe I'll add it to the trigger yeah name is already in use all right because that's the default function okay so in that case no still we need it let's call it max range let's say 3000 what's the range you're using for the rock 1500 okay maybe 5000 
Nice location. Oh, we need a tag also. Let's put the tag as none because this is like a more um, priority. Nice, something equivalent to the shooting sound. Okay, now let's. We need to call this, but calling it once may not be enough. So. So, function name is trigger noise time. Let's say every uh, three seconds, and we only need to do this. Uh, let me promote a variable noise timer. I don't think we need to do it like infinitely, so let's give it a delay like 10 seconds that should be enough to get their attention and then stop for clear right now let's kill these two guys Oh, this guy is dead from the grenade. Okay, now if I go here, oh, they don't like they are reacting to any noise. Why is that? it also let's the print just to see that it is working nice and let's play Noises. Maybe they don't hear it. The range is too much. Uh, we can check actually what the range is. So I'm starting from here. So this is the trigger, they are over here. Oh, it's just 4,000. So it's not working. Trigger noise caused by a pro given pawn at a given location. Not that the noise instigator pawn must have a pawn. Okay, so if we connect get the uh, character here, now it should work. But how is it working for the throwable? Even without that. Uh, maybe that's because this throwable is. Uh, 
I'm not really sure. Trouble is spawned in the player and thrown away, so maybe that's why. I need to look into that. Anyway, now it should work. Let's see. Let me kill these two guys again. I should increase the grenade timing. Why they keep shooting without coming here? Let me restart. go here okay now they are here see that's why I got take a message and now they are coming to shoot at me see over there they are also coming system is working and to make things more interesting I think if we add few more enemies like in here in the places where the player actually can't see them it would be interesting so this is enemy one yeah let me duplicate these two It got stuck. Alright, I thought it's going to crash. And uh, then, yeah. So let me move these guys behind these boxes so player wouldn't see when they are loaded. And to hide them properly, I'll lift there is box a bit and this guy over here so it actually feels like player is getting ambushed See, now 
they are coming from behind the boxes. this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon file see you in another episode goodbye